morning and welcome to the midweek devotion here at Trinity Sarasota. Uh, we're so glad that you are joining us. Um, I am back in the house today, uh, which is uh, a great way for me to... Um... Sorry, we're having a little, couple little issues this morning. Let's start all over again. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Midweek Devotion here at Trinity Sarasota. My name is Lisa and I am so glad to be joining you this morning. Uh, we are going to uh, sing a gospel song. We're going to do some breath prayer, have some stillness. Uh, we're going to look at a piece of scripture. We're going to pray. That's our normal pattern for our Midweek Devotion time. So please take a moment and say hello to one another in the chat. Uh, this is an interactive time and we're very, very glad that you are here. Uh, you will find uh, the words to our songs in the description. And so I hope that helps you participate and sing along at home. Uh, our, uh, our chorus for today is on eagle's wings. Uh, this is a lovely song that comes to us from the Catholic side of the Christian family tree. And uh, we're just going to sing the chorus uh, of this beautiful song. Uh, it's based on Psalm 91, which uh, many folks go to again and again and again, especially in times of trouble. And uh, it also has uh, a couple of allusions to Isaiah 40, verse 31. Um, Isaiah 40, verse 31 is, those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Um, another great passage uh, that many, many folks claim uh, and uh, so hopefully that's, that's helpful to you. Uh, for some reason, I am not able to see the chat this morning. So that's problematic. So, okay, we'll do our best uh, again. Uh, the song is on eagle's wings, so let's um, let's all sing along. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. Let's sing it again. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. Isn't that a lovely promise? It's a beautiful promise. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this entire chorus as our breath prayer this morning. Uh, the beautiful thing about using songs for breath prayers is that the, the breaths are already in place, right? Uh, songs and poetry, uh, especially if it's metered poetry, um, has natural breaks built in. So uh, this, is, this is a great way uh, for, for us to do breath prayers also. Song lyrics are easy to remember, so uh, we can easily call them to mind if we're having trouble coming up with a breath prayer. So let's put our feet flat on the floor, drop 
our shoulders down, <sighs> palms up for receiving, palms down for uh, grounding, whichever you're needing this morning. Uh, be sure to check and um, see how your jaw is doing. Make sure your shoulders are not just down, but they're also back. <sighs> Let's just do a couple of kind of blow it out breaths. I find blowing through my mouth helps keep my jaw loose. Kind of helps to, when you do those kind of quick hard ones, Kind of helps to dis dispel the dis some stress. If you're having some stress. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. That will be the breath in and the breath out. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. breath of dawn. Isn't that beautiful? Bear you on the breath of dawn. Bear you on the breath of dawn. Bear you on the breath of dawn. Make you to shine like the sun. So breath in. Make you to shine like the sun. Make you to shine like the sun. Hold you in the palm of his hand. Hold you in the palm of his hand. And so pick, pick whichever one uh, you're needing this morning. Raise you up on eagle's wings. Bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, hold you in the palm of his hand. Whichever, whichever one you're needing this morning, 
just go ahead and use that one and continue to breathe. Or if stillness is what you're needing, just, just rest in God's presence. We're recognizing the presence of God who is already here, already close. Again, good morning. We're so glad that uh, you are here. Uh, I am still trying to figure out how to see the comments this morning. Something has changed uh, on the, uh, the live stream, and so I'm having trouble. I see, I see there's five comments sitting there, but I can't see them. So uh, please take care of each other and uh, say hello to one another this morning. Uh, I will try to figure this out before uh, we are together again next time. Uh, our scripture today is uh, from Philippians chapter 2. Uh, many of us are using the, uh, the Easter reading plan for the great 50 days and this week we are in uh, the book of Philippians. And uh, so we are, we are past the post-resurrection appearance stories. We did that for two weeks. And uh, now, we are, uh, now we are in uh, some of the other New Testament uh, books of the Bible that uh, reference the resurrection and new life and all of those things. And, and uh, so it'll, it'll be nice to read, to read some of these um, books as well. Uh, Philippians 2 is a gorgeous, gorgeous chapter uh, in the Bible. Um, there's this beautiful, beautiful hymn uh, about uh, Jesus, um, which many, many folks are drawn to. Today, I would love to draw us to uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 18. So this is, this is just past that, um, that beautiful hymn. And uh, Philippians 2, chapter 18. Uh, we're going to begin, uh, sorry, Philippians 2, beginning at verse 12, uh, 12 through 18. Uh, so, as we read the passage, what captures your attention? Uh, where is it making a connection for you? And what invitation to action are you receiving? Therefore, my beloved, 
just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you to both will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring or arguing so that you may be blameless and innocent. Children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine like the stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. And in the same way, you also must be glad and rejoice in me. Beautiful, beautiful passage. And so you can imagine uh, Paul is uh, writing to uh, the Christians who live in Philippi. Uh, this was a letter written to a group of Christians. And, um, and so uh, he's talking about uh, how they are continuing on what he has taught them. And uh, he's encouraging to them to do this and all things without murmuring or arguing. Maybe that's what's captured your attention this morning. Uh, murmuring and arguing. Um, so that you may be blameless and innocent. Children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. So this, this idea of of our lives, our actions, our words looking very different than those who choose a different worldview. You know, that's that's one way to look at um, to look at um, whether you want to say religion or perspective um, is this idea that it's it's our worldview. It's it's the way that we understand how the world works, um, what's important, uh, what's valuable, and and so there are many different worldviews. We know this. Um, some are labeled religions, and and some are not. And and so this idea of being children of God. Uh, blameless, innocent, um, without blemish, and that we live this way in the midst of those who choose to live differently. Uh, those who choose uh, crookedness, um, you know, evil, injustice, and oppression, um, money and stuff over people. You know. And in doing this, we shine like stars. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I picked our song this morning. Make you shine like the sun, shine like stars. Right? And in verse 16, uh, it says, It is by your holding fast to the word of life, that, that we choose this life um, and are offered it by grace. And so this encouragement to hold fast, to hold fast to this way of life when uh, life is really good and you know it's easy to you know, go on to other things, or when life is really hard and it's easy to just say, well, pfft, 
you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, when we, you know, when we see the wicked prosper, right? When, when there's a sacrifice involved in living this kind of life, in the enduring and languishing, uh, which we're in the middle of right now, right? Yeah. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. And so this idea that that Paul is has been faithful, has been faithful to uh, share the good news, share the grace of God, share uh, God's offer of salvation and new life, um, and uh, he sees the fruit of his work, uh, the fruit of his labor in uh, the holding fast of those he has discipled, right? Yeah, that it hasn't been in vain. I I have I have run the race. I have passed on the faith. There there will be a generation after me uh, to do the same. It's uh, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing. You know what what makes living the life as a follower of Christ worth living what what is what is our reward and so often we associate that reward with heaven you know which which is lovely and good and true but but this idea of passing on the faith you know all four of the Gospels plus the book of Acts has this call to pass on the faith. You know, what they call the Great Commission. Go therefore and make disciples. You know, that's Matthew's version. And so Paul in his trouble is encouraged that uh, they are holding fast. And so, so let us let us hold fast. Let us grow and uh, testify and share and live and shine and you know let's let's do all of those things, um, so that those who shared the faith with us would be encouraged, so that they would know their work has not been in vain. And so that others may come to faith as well. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the faithful ones who passed on the faith to us. We thank you for uh, family members who did it and lived it. We thank you for Folks that uh, we have gone to school with, we have gone to church with, we thank you for teachers and pastors who have been faithful. We thank you for uh, the great cloud of witnesses, those who have gone before us, who inspire us and um, help us. We thank you for your word, which gives us so many examples of faithfulness. We thank you for messy, messy lives of folks that are practicing their faith, that are learning and trying and risking and trying again and making mistakes and uh, you know, growing from those, and, and we thank you for the grace of um, this being a journey that, that it, it's 
something we do again and again, another step, another step, uh, another way of reaching out. We thank you that there is a process and there is uh, encouragement and leading and um, that it's not just one and done. And we pray that you would give us grace to grow and learn and change. That you would give us grace to hold fast as you are holding fast to us. As you are empowering us and walking with us and inviting us welcoming us. And so we pray for all who are struggling this day, especially those who are struggling with their faith, struggling to hold fast. We pray for those that are struggling because of pain, because of abuse, because of injustice, because of despair, because of loneliness, because of questioning and confusion. Draw near. Draw near. I invite you to lift up your own prayers for yourself or for others. Jesus, help us to live the prayer that you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, Let's sing Bind Us Together. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together Bind us together in love. There is only one God. There is only one King. There is only one body. That is why we sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, bind us together in love. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and bring you peace. Not just any old peace, but the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. I am going to uh, jump into the chat after I end this live session so that I can interact with you. And again, I thank you for your patience as, uh, as we figure out what uh, is going on that I can't see uh, the chat this morning. And so, um, so bless you, dear ones. Uh, I look forward to seeing you Sunday at 9 and 1030, whether you are joining us uh, in person here at the church, or you are joining us for the live stream here on Facebook. Um, God bless you. Uh, shine like the sun, dear ones. And um, uh, I hope to see you soon. <laughs>